This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com and GatheringMagic.com, your place to explore the game. Hi, I'm Steven, and this is Micaeus the Unhollowed. Okay, this is Micaeus the Unhollowed. He is a zombie cleric. So this is my zombie tribal deck here. I'm not running any crazy um, one-shot kills with Micaeus in here. He's mainly in there to do his other things that he does well, which is lord all his other zombies and give them all undying. Makes your army really hard to get rid of. And you can just zombie crush people. He himself has Intimidate, and whenever a human deals damage to you, destroy it, which is not unrelevant with Narset and Xur and other commanders like that running around. And then he gets all your non-human creatures undying and plus one plus one. So let's get into it. There's 26 swamps, Cabal Coffers, great for boosting up that mana. Uh, Nixos, this is going to get you a lot of mana too. So these are all big mana producers and crypt. You're going to get a lot of creatures in the yard. You want to get tons of zombies in and splash them all back. So these can do a lot for you. Some utility lands and Ghost Quarter, Blight of Fen, Mirror in the Morning Well, gives you some life and it's a sack outlet. I also got High Market to sack, gain some life, and just be able to sacrifice your zombies when you need to. I'd like to get a Frixian Tower for this too, but not yet. Uh, Unholy Grotto does a lot of work here. You can pay a black and put a zombie from your graveyard on top of your library. So this is going to let you touch your graveyard pretty much any time you want to. And there's a lot you can do with that. Uh, Herborg in there. Bajuka Bog, get rid of someone else's graveyard. There's ways of flipping everything back, so... Being able to have a little bit of suppression on the yard is good. Uh, the new Mortuary Mire. You can come by tapped and you get to put a creature from your graveyard on top of your library. So at another time you can just get to touch a graveyard and choose a zombie in it. Uh, Thine Glacier is my favorite utility land and commander. You get to search for a land and it comes back to your hand. Slowly just adding to your advantage. And now let's get into the zombies. We got Gravecrawler. He is awesome. 2-1 uh, can't block and you can play him from your graveyard. There's only one combo in here and it involves him. So we'll show you that when we get to it. But he's just... I love getting him right off the bat and just going to aggro. This is at heart an aggro deck. So drop in these early one drops. Carry on feeder is great. He's a sack outlet too. And you can put counters on him so he can get really big, real nasty. But mainly that sack engine being able to always sacrifice is huge in a zombie deck. Uh, Bone Knitter. Regenerate your zombies, making them even harder to get rid of, undying, and there's all the ways of bringing them back. It makes it a really hard army to deal with. Uh, Withered Wretch is my graveyard suppression, in addition to Bajuka Bog. Being able to pick out other cards in graveyards when you need to. Uh, Skirt Ridge Exhumer, you can pay a black, discard a card, and put a 1-1 one, one zombie goblin, a festering goblin token into play. When he dies, a creature gets minus one, minus one. So early on, you could start dropping the creatures in your hand, start filling up your yard. There's all types of things you just want to put right into your yard. It's a lot better that way. So he's really good early on. Uh, Rotting Rats is a zombie rat. When it enters the battlefield, everyone discards a card. And he has an earth. So another way of getting cards into your graveyard. And then Shepherd of Rot is really a powerhouse. Each player loses a life for each zombie in play by tapping him. So this is a lot of life drain you can do. Just on a little two drop. Um, you need to get your life back, but there's plenty of ways to do that. Uh, Vesper Ghoul. There is some zombie ramp out there, and it's Vesper Ghoul. Pay a life and add a mana of any color. You're usually going to pick black. Um, but yeah, three for a 1-1 one, one is pretty terrible, but he takes up a land spot, so I was able to get another zombie in there. Uh, Fleshbag Marauder. Comes to play, sacrifice creature. And then starts to fill your yard up with Necromancer's Assistant. Enters the battlefield, you mill three. So, one of the ways to start getting your own stuff in. Uh, draws a messenger, has on dying himself, and comes into play with points to lose life. So all that comes into play triggers are really nice. Dude, lots of big splashes with all the zombies coming into play. Like Life Bane Zombie, take care of creatures in hand. Uh, more sack outlets, and then Tuko Husk, who's a zombie insect, and Frixian Ghoul. Uh, Unbreathing Horde enters the battlefield with a 1 1 for each other zombie in play and in your graveyard. And if you would be dealt damage, remove that counter, or remove a 1 1 counter from it and prevent that damage. If you have him and Micaeus out, 
and he's at one counter, he's pretty much like undiable to damage. Because you prevent it, he'd come back with another 1-1 one, one counter. And undying. So, um, he's really good. And then these are the kind of the lords in there. Cemetery Reaper pumps up your zombies. And you can exile creatures, make zombies. Death Baron gives him death touch, which is really nice. And plus one. one. Lord of the Undead is errated. He's a zombie also. He pumps all other zombies now. And then he can grab any zombie in a graveyard right back to your hand. So he's real heavy. Coffin Queen also made into a zombie. You can just pay three and grab any creature in any graveyard. So Coffin Queen is really good. Undead War Chief, one of the better zombie lords. He just makes them all a lot cheaper, or one cheaper. And then they get plus two, plus one. So he's really great. You go aggro off and you can curve really nice. Like just playing all these different lords and curve is really fun to do. You could surprise people. They're not expecting this much aggro like right out of the gate. Uh, Risen Executioner, you can play him from your yard. Sometimes hard to do, but you can discard him early or kind of put him right in there luckily. So he is good. Skin Render uh, puts three you know, minus one, minus one counters on a creature. A little bit of zombie removal. Liliana's Reaver has Death Touch, and when it hits them, you get to put a 2-2 zombie in a play tapped, so it gets it started. Vengeful Dead, this is uh, a wonderful zombie. He's a 3-2, when another zombie goes to the graveyard, each opponent loses one life. So, he's way better than a Blood uh, Artist in this deck, because he's a zombie himself. So, whenever all your guys die, they're just going to drain everybody. He's another piece of the combo, so we'll pull him aside. Uh, Return Centaur is going to fill up your yard. You mill forward and it comes into play. Uh, this guy is great. The new Corpse Augur. I'm really glad they made him. But when he dies, you draw X and lose X equal to a cards in target player's graveyard. So you can pick whoever has the most or just the right amount. And then you can reanimate him easy. He undies pretty easy. So you get grips of cards and just start doing the big things. Graveborn Muse is a zombie spirit. She is so good. She's uh, lose X and draw X equal to zombies on your upkeep. So you're going to lose a lot of life, but join just grips and handfuls of cards, and then being able to discard those cards is important. And then you can just bring them all back and splash win. Balthor is one of the ways of bringing them all back. He's a zombie dwarf legend. He pumps all the other minions plus one, plus one, which there's none of. But you can remove them from the game and return all red and black creatures from all players' graveyards to play. So this will bring all your zombies back, and just having them in the yard, touch them, and get everything. Uh, Corpse Connoisseur. Zombie Wizard, when it comes into play, you search for a zombie into your yard, and he has Unearthed too. So this is going to go grab Balthor, put him in there, then grab them all back. Noxious Ghoul is like better than any Wrath I've ever played with. It is, whenever Noxious Ghoul or another zombie enters the battlefield, all non-zombies get minus one, minus one. So any big zombie splash in the yard, or just play him and a couple other zombies, like Greyborn, right out of the yard a few times, you can get three counters on him and just about wipe everything out so but the big splashes where you're pulling all the zombies back he's going to wipe out everything so he's really great uh corpse harvester you can sacrifice a zombie search for uh, any zombie or sacrifice a creature search for any zombie and a swamp so this is such a go find whatever you need vengeful pharaoh this is really great to put right into the yard you always want to discard it i don't even want to play it ever but when combat damage is dealt to you, you can just or a planeswalker you control, you can destroy that attacking creature and put Vengeful Pharaoh on top of your library. So it's a rattlesnake. It keeps people from hitting you, from wanting to come at you. Um, and then usually there's great ways to mill from top of your library. You just discard them again and just keep them in there to keep destroying creatures and deter the attacks. And then Grey Merchant, this is the guy who's really going to win the game. He's about... 50% of the win con for the whole deck because you're going to put him in there with a whole bunch of creatures Have a high devotion. He's going to come to play and just drain all opponents. You gain that much life He's the main way you're going to gain all your life back with the gray merchant So you don't want to get him to kind of late, but he's amazing and then with uh, Micaeus you sack him immediately and you have unearth or undying and he comes right back and then they lose that much life again So right there the one two is usually what finishes everybody off so city is wonderful they just made her She's the zombie tutor, so exploit and go search for anything you want. Twisted Abomination can swamp cycle, so good way to put him in the yard quick. And then topping out the zombie curve is the new zombie dragon. Uh, it's the only flyer I have in here. 
But you can play him from your yard by sacking two creatures, which is great. Being able to have another way of sacrificing and a big zombie body. Uh, the non-zombie is Crypt Gas. He doubles for swamps and you can extort. So it's another little bit of life gain. You can do a lot with that. But just mainly the mana doubling. You need to get big enough to get your bigger stuff off quickly. Liliana is the human. She becomes a planeswalker. And then it's Leah of the Dark Realms. She's really good. She makes a zombie, so she's some kind of honorary to put in the deck. And then she reanimates really well. Lily of the Dark Realms just keeps getting you swamps, keeps feeding you, and she's also kind of doubles as removal if you need to. But always hitting the land drops is important. You don't want to stall out at all. Uh, Expedition Maps goes and finds any of those special maps. I got a Soul Ring in there, a little bit of ramp. Jet Medallion makes them a little bit cheaper. And then Friction Altar. This is the last piece of the combo. So with just these three in play, you can deal infinite life loss to everyone. You would sack the Gravecrawler for a mana to Altar, and then play him back out with that same mana, and every time he dies, Vengeful Dead will trigger. And then so that is the only way to kind of just catch the whole board and flip it over. But then Gauntlet Power doubles your swamps and pumps them. The pump is important, Cage Sun pumps them. So it's fun to just drop three drop lords, four drop lords, like five drop, getting Chaos out, and then do that and just lord them all. Uh, Skull Clamp is going to draw you a ton of cards for this, keep them a handful. Codex Shredder is great, you turn it on yourself and just start hoping for zombies in the yard. Even if you have your important spells, you can regrow with it, um, get any card back. Uh, Buried Alive, jumpstart your graveyard, just get you three, whatever you want. Usually it's going to be Vengeful Dead or um, Likes of City or whatever you need, like the big powerful stuff. Depends on where you're at in the game. Dread Return has Flashback, which is a sack effect, which is great. Does a lot. Diabolic Servitude. When it enters the battlefield, you return a creature card from your graveyard to play. And then when a creature's put in a, um, onto the battlefield dies, exile it, return Diabolic Servitude to its owner's hand. And then when it leaves the battlefield, exile Diabolic Servitude. Um, as other creature onto the battlefield with Diabolic Servitude. So the way this stacks with Machaeus is it's the replacement effect that you can stack Machaeus' first. So when that creature dies, you can return Diabolic Servitude, and then the creature comes back with them dying instead of getting exiled. So, Diabolic Servitude works in case. Whip of Eros is the other way to gain life, really. Lifelink is really important. You can bring them back and exile them with this, so you can kind of creep touch in your graveyard if you need to. And Call to Grave. Beginning of each person's upkeep, they sacrifice as a non zombie. So it's just going to be creature suppression. And, all, and, and, and if there's no creatures, you have to sacrifice Call to the Grave. But as long as you got somebody out there and within dying, it's not too hard to live through a lot of the wraths. Uh, Killing Wave lets you sacrifice your guys if you want to, and then life loss or everyone else if they don't. It's kind of a nice wrath effect. Necromantic Selection is the best one for zombies. It's going to destroy all creatures, then return a creature that was destroyed this way into the battlefield under your control, and it's a black zombie. And then it exiles itself. Um, so this you get to pick the best of whatever it is that goes to the yard. You get it back. And you can do this with Micaeus, choose Micaeus, and then all his other creatures will come back with and dying. So it just kind of saves your whole board and wipes everybody else out. Uh, Decree of Pain destroys all creatures, and you draw a card each, each creature destroyed, it can cycle. Really good. Living Death, of course. So this is going to be one of the ones that just flips all the zombies into play. This is one of the ones you're going to tutor up, and it sacrifices all creatures in play too, so this is does both. These will just bring your zombies back. Zombie Apocalypse destroys all humans and brings all zombies from your graveyard into play tapped. And then Rise of the Dark Realms will bring all creatures from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. So this one will close out real fast. It's nine. So we can get there pretty easy. Uh, Dread Summons. This is new. It's pretty fun. You mill each player for X and each creature revealed that way. You get a 2-2 black zombie under the battlefield tapped. So it's kind of like a big way of getting a bunch of guys out and it fills your yard, does what you need it to. Uh, Necroalgia. This also, you want to fill your yard. There's no maximum hand size in here. You like to discard. So when I do this, I'll do it for like 20 and get a big grip of cards. Then you drop all those zombies into the yard, like all the creatures, and you keep that one living death or whatever it is, and you pull them all back at once. So. Turn 5, turn 6 with the Necroalgia, you can just go off and completely zombie smother everybody.
And then, of course, Army of the Damned. Puts 13 2 2 zombies into play, why not? And then you can flashback it, so do it again. Thanks for watching CMDR Decks. Please subscribe and favorite.